Hello, I'm Gordon Cooper. Today we're going to answer the question, what is an embedded vision processor? Computer vision algorithms have been around for a while. They allow computers to acquire, process, analyze, or gain understanding of digital images or videos. Historically, they have been run on large, power-hungry systems or compute farms. An embedded vision processor is designed to execute vision algorithms on real-time, high-resolution video inputs while minimizing power, area, and silicon cost to support a broader range of applications. To support both control and extensive math processing, embedded vision processors are designed with a heterogeneous architecture. In other words, for power efficiency, they include different processing units to perform different tasks. Embedded vision processors typically include a 32-bit scalar unit that can handle decision-making and control tasks. These could include tasks like high-level analysis, interacting with a host processor, image stabilization, and motion tracking. In addition, to take advantage of the parallelism that is inherent in signal processing, a vector processing unit is typically deployed using a very large instruction word and multiple lanes of instructions to better handle pixel processing of the two-dimensional digital images or video. Examples of algorithms running on this highly parallelized unit include image scaling or rotation, image pyramids, or dedicated image algorithms like HOG, SIFT, and SURF. And the latest state-of-the-art embedded vision processors also include a dedicated convolutional neural networking engine for handling object detection, classification, and recognition tasks. Data movement is critical, so these units must be tightly coupled and support fast data transfers. Because vision processing requirements scale with the resolution or number of cameras, some vision processors have the capability of scaling when higher performance is needed. In this case, hardware and software support for high-performance multi-core processing is important. Since an embedded vision processor is often part of a larger system, using a standard interface like an AXI bus is important for talking to external components such as external memory, a host processor, or other interfaces. All of this requires specialized software that integrates the features into a single standard programming model. Programming in C works for the scalar processing unit, but to take advantage of the parallelism of the vector processing unit, an OpenCLC compiler is recommended. In addition, designers need a tool to map the neural network coefficients and topology into the CNN hardware. OpenVX is the framework that combines all of these software pieces, or kernels, together. There are other types of processors that can execute vision algorithms. GPUs have the math capabilities but consume a lot of power. Traditional DSPs lack the parallelism for video processing. FPGAs are great for prototyping but are generally slower and more expensive, so not an ideal choice for a high volume embedded vision system. Only an embedded vision processor is optimized specifically to handle the types of tasks required for high performance embedded applications that are typically area and power constrained. Embedded vision processors like Synopsys Designware EV6X embedded vision processors support the unique performance needs of vision-enabled applications within low power budgets. In addition, the EV6X processors are available with a programmable CNN engine that works in parallel with its vision CPUs, making the EV6X particularly efficient for applications such as autonomous vehicles and drones where multiple cameras and vision algorithms are used concurrently. To learn more about embedded vision, please visit synopsis.com/ev. Thanks for watching.